Hello, this is a video on how to use the various activities reports in Empower DB. Uh, we're going to be using the demo version of the database, so you're going to see a um, list of options that are not in your version of the database, and you're going to see probably types of activities that you don't have, but uh, the, the general concepts are going to be the same. So uh, let's actually take a look at the services report to see our first type of activities report. So this is the one that probably everybody's going to have. All right, services report. We want to see, first we're asking, which dates do we want to look at? So maybe we want to look at the services that happened from January 1st of this year until today. Next, we want to look at, OK, are we looking at services in a particular program? Are we looking at all clients? Do we only want to see services entered in for one particular client or for clients that appear in some on one report? Uh, most often you're going to click clients by program and you're going to select which programs you want to look at. So all programs, shelter, transition housing. So you can say a specific program or all programs together. Um, now how the system decides which service is attributed by which program is a little bit different according to each site. Um, this little uh, blue help a question mark there will uh, click on that and it'll explain to you how your site specifically does it. But it should be pretty common sense, you know, however it is, it should be kind of um, would, would make sense to you that this community program service that, this, that a certain service was being attributed to the community program, but just the particulars of how your system is exactly doing it, you'll need to click there and read that. Okay, so let's do all programs, and let's just run this report now and see what happens. Okay, so the system is telling us that 15 clients met this criteria, and it's listing all of our clients. If we were a reporting only account, we would not see this list of clients. We would just see client IDs, client numbers instead of client names. Uh, so Elizabeth had 11 hours of activities during this time, and that was over three different sessions. And it's totaling up at the bottom. This is the total number of hours. This is the total number of sessions. Okay, so pretty straightforward view there. If we scroll down here, we can see that these, this, set of services were being done across from four different staff. So demo users contributed to 23.75 hours of all that and 22 sessions and worked with 13 clients. Which 13 clients? Well, we can click on this list, click on the number, and it gives us a list of all the people that demo users served that matched. Okay, so same thing list, listed for each staff member. And note here that the total for the number of hours is the same for by client by is by looking by staff. All right, we did 13 different types of services. Counseling was the most popular with this many occurrences and this many hours. You know, all, all we're looking at the same information but just sliced up in different ways. Here's by setting and here's by direct time versus collateral time and your wording for these might be different or not have this distinction at all. Okay, and down at the bottom here, we just have a list of the qualifying services, you know, just, just to kind of review a little bit and say, okay, yeah, this makes sense. We, Nora had demo user counseling this, this date and that hour. Okay, so let's get a little bit more specific. Let's say we only want to see <clears throat> services for a certain person. So we can say certain type of people. So we can say, show me only the services where um, the language served for the client is English. Run report. Okay, only 11 clients have their language served variable as English. Uh, the more uh, details on how to use this variable query, uh, variable condition um, part of the database is in the variable query report training video and a link to that video is in the description of this video or you can look for it in the empower to be database documentation so now we're taking a look at people who receive services during this time and are between 18 and 25 we can also let's get rid of this we can also say you know i only want to see the counseling you know i don't care about all this other stuff just show me the counseling all right, run report. Ten clients received counseling, one session, three sessions. Three staff did that counseling. 
we provided one service, and that was counseling, because we specifically said only show us that. Uh, and these settings and these direct versus collateral time. We can say, show me only counseling provided by demo user. We can say, show me only the services, any service provided by just demo user. Um, you can say, show me only um, the direct time services or only the collateral time services. So it should make sense here, you know, how to change these drop downs to get it exactly what you're looking for. Uh, so let's run this report again. We have our 15 clients. Uh, and let's just note, we can switch this to group by household. And now instead of seeing 15 clients, we see 13 households. So maybe, you know, Daniel and Amanda receive services during this time, uh, but they're being grouped together into one household and their two sessions are counting, two separate sessions are counting as just to, together as to one household. All right, so that's running the services report. And every other activities report should be pretty similar. So if we go to referrals report, we say what dates we want to look at. So just show me between here and here, the programs we want, and maybe a specific set of referrals or a specific staff, and run report. It's going to be the, pretty much the same exact layout as before. You know, of course, for referrals, we're not tapped tallying hours spent, we're tallying the counts of things and sessions. But again, really, really similar to the activity, the services. Uh, groups will be a little bit different if you have groups. Let's just say, you know, groups since 2015, April, run report. Okay, here we see that we have, when we're looking at by hours, we have a total of 131 hours um, per each client. You know, if we're looking by client, it's going to total it up like this. But if we're looking by staff, it totals up like that. So this number is typically always going to be smaller because demo user may be provided one hour, a one hour group to these three people right here. But the database, when we're looking at by client, it's totaling that one hour, one hour, one hour. So that's counting as three hours. You know, but for when we're looking at by staff, it's only counting as one hour. So depending on what you're trying to do, if you're trying to say how many hours worth of groups did all of our clients receive, you would look at this one. If you would try to answer the question, how many hours worth of groups did we give to our clients, you would maybe look at this answer here. And then it's showing our broken down my group and it's showing us uh, the split between those numbers depending on how we want to answer that question. All right, so that's the group's reports. Uh, let's mention here this export to spreadsheet link is at the top of every report and page in the database. So if you want to slice and dice these numbers in Excel, you click export to spreadsheet and then you can go and do that there. And let's talk about session slash all activities. So a client between January 1st and today could have received a service in the community program and another client could have just received a referral. So how do we run a report where both of those two clients who receive different types of activities show up in the same place? So that's why we would pick sessions slash all activities. And here's where we can go and say, okay, January 1st between there, just, yep, great, show me everything, run report. Now we have 20 clients. So notice that's a higher number than when, what we had before when we were just looking at services. Because some clients, you know, look at this, this client here, just had a milestone type of activity, no other service. So this gets us the total number of clients who had any type of activity provided to them during that time frame, and then broken down by staff. And if we want to see broken down further, like which services exactly happened, then we would click on these numbers and it'll open up a report that shows us which, uh, what those 3.42 hours for Tina actually was. All right, those are the activity reports.